Hello, I'm Dr. Dorsey, inventor of Sit and Decompress Therapy. I'm going to show you the quickest, safest, and the best way to decrease your back pain and actually eliminate your back pain for good. And you only need four things. First thing you need, three minutes a day. That's it. You need three minutes a day to do spinal decompression. Second thing you need, you need a doorway. Okay? I built this doorway for the video, but any doorway will do. Typically, it's a bathroom or bedroom doorway. And then third thing, you need a chin-up bar, okay? We'll say the chin-up bar with the harness. Essentially, it's four bolts, three, four, and two screws. Real simple to assemble. Anybody can do it. If you can change a light bulb, you can assemble this. And then the fourth thing you need is my sit and decompress harness, okay? Let me just show you how to set it up real quick, and then I'll show you the therapy. Okay, now you don't have to buy the chin-up bar from us. If you already have a chin-up bar, great. Use the one you already have, but this is the best setup. These straps and stuff are set up for this style and, and this chin-up bar, okay? Now, the harness comes in four different sizes, small through extra large, and it's really easy to assemble and set up. The strap over here. I'm going to feed it through the D-ring. It's hard to believe we've been selling this for, or I've been selling this for over eight years now. We've made some minor changes just from, you know, using it and from uh, listening to the customers and customers and, and patients. Okay, so once the D-rings are set up, the harness is ready to go. That's it. Now we're ready to step into it. When you wrap it around your chest, make sure it's snug, okay? Now, you should be able to breathe, no problem, okay? You want it nice and snug. And then the next step here is just to wrap this strap around. This strap is really just to secure the Velcro, okay? I see some people really cranking on it. Don't crank on it too hard. It's, it's really just to, you know, keep this uh, Velcro from coming undone. The other thing is, you know, there is a slight learning curve to this, so once you get it, uh, we get some people calling like the first day they get it and they're like, well, I don't quite understand how to use it. You know, uh, give yourself a couple days of using it and, and watching the videos to kind of see what works best for you. I'm definitely shaped different than most people um, and no one's shaped alike, but this is a general way of how to set it up. Okay. Once that's uh, secure here, pull down on the straps, pull the slack out, and then we're going to go into neutral stance. Okay. Everyone starts here. This is neutral stance. Now, there is a slight learning curve like I mentioned, but also like, you know, your ribs and your skin around here, they may be a little bit tender too. And, and, and that's normal because again, this is something new. So it'll take a day or two, maybe even like a week to build up a little bit of tolerance to this. But once you do, it's actually quite comfortable. All right, so neutral stance. Now we go into a half flexion stance. This is, this is where we change from previous or previous uh, uh, model. We used to go straight into flexion, which is both feet out. It's a little bit too much. So you just want to do half flexion, okay? One foot at a time. Rock there, you feel a nice stretch. Okay, 30 seconds. And again, depending on your condition, you may not be able to do all these. That's okay. All right, just start with neutral, see how it feels, go into a you know, half flexion here see how it feels. And again, it may take a couple days for your, back, your, your body to say, okay, this is okay, and actually relax, okay? Once it relaxes, you're going to really feel that deep stretch along the spine. Okay, now you're going to do a split stance, right legs back. You know, there's a couple different things you can do in this stance. You can rock back and forth nice and gentle, or you can kind of take your foot, roll it in and out, and you can kind of feel like your hip loosening along with the low back into that SI joint, all right? Other side, and again, everyone has a different condition, right? So what works for me may not be the best stance for you. So again, just listen to your body. If you feel more stretch on the left side than the right side, that typically means that the left side is probably tighter. So you may wanna do the left side, you know, more. Again, you be the judge. All right, now we did both split stance and we go into flexion. 
This is where you really feel the stretch. I mean, you feel stretch in all of them, but this is, you know, a lot more here. Okay, and from here you go to extension. Now, a couple of things. Start out three minutes a day. Then you're going to add a minute every week up to six minutes. And when you get up, stand up nice and slow, okay? Because you're so stretched out, when you stand up, everything's coming back together, okay? You just want a nice, gentle come back together. So build up one minute a week if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Just stay at three minutes or stay at four minutes until it's easy. Then you're going to bump it up to six minutes. Once you reach six minutes after a week of that, then you can do it multiple times a day, okay? Typically, but typically, when you reach six minutes, your back is feeling great and wonderful, um, and you, you don't really need to do it twice a day. But if you want to, go for it, okay? A couple things. Maintenance, okay? Once your spine feels better, you're going to want to continue using sit and decompress harness, okay? It's kind of like brushing your teeth, okay? I get a lot of people that call me and they say, hey, if my back feels better, you know, can I just stop using it? I mean, you can, but your condition is probably going to come back. So once you start feeling better, maintain your condition. It's like brushing your teeth, you know? You don't brush your teeth once and have beautiful teeth the rest of your life. I wish, but that's not how it works. So the same thing with your spine. You got to think about it. Gravity, gravity is squeezing us all day, every day. You know, we're bending, twisting, sitting, doing all kinds of stuff to compress our spine. Well, what are you doing to decompress it? So it's, it's really important that, you know, once you start feeling better to continue using it. And the thing is, is like, even if your back doesn't feel bad, you should still use spinal decompression because it's, it's a good preventative maintenance, right? Preventative maintenance is important, right? Like why wait until there's a problem to, you know, fix it? Why not just do it in the beginning, i.e. like brushing your teeth, you know? We're not waiting for a cavity to brush our teeth. No, we want to prevent that. Well, the same thing with spinal decompression. Like you can be doing this even healthy to prevent further problems down the road you know, when you get in your 60s and 70s and a, and a lot of arthritis may be setting in. Well, this will prevent that. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay? So, yeah, that's how you sit and decompress. Real simple, real easy. Results are amazing. Thanks for watching.